Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here we have uh, a question pertaining to decision making. So the text is given here and on the basis of the text, we find some questions pertaining to it. And we also have uh, five options, each of the question. So let's uh, read the text and uh, we'll try to know that what does this text point out. And on the basis of that, we will go to the question and we need to find out the um, with our apt judgment, which one option will be helpful to the questions given on the basis of the text. So let's go for the decision making questions. Um, so the text begins here. The lawsuit which was filed in 2019 by the DXC alleges that employees of the Indian IT company assigned to developing its bank's platform encountered difficulty revising a software solution for calculating a rate of return, right? In a particular insurance context, the lawsuit mentioned emails exchanged between TCS employees that they found who means uh, um, that the lawsuit mentioned. So the software solution for calculating a rate of uh, return ROR in a particular insurance context, the su lawsuit mentioned email exchange between TCS employees uh, that they found the necessary solution in the built Vantage software. Later, a TCS employee allegedly copied and pasted the actual Vantage source, actual Vantage source code relating to this calculation and resulting Vantage calculations into an email and sent it to his TCS colleagues. The lawsuit said one TCS employee, the lawsuit said one TCS employee wrote in an email. Here is some text from the old Vantage manuals on the rate of return screen for reference if it answers any questions. He then pasted nearly two pages from a Vantage manual describing uh, how CSC determined. Uh, CSC stands for Calculated Investment Return on Annuities. So the lawsuit further reveals that this same TCS employee looked at transactions of interest that are accessed by the Vantage source code in performing the calculation and sent it to his colleague via email. Another TCS employee circulated additional CSC proprietary information regarding the way that Vantage performs this calculation. The TCS employee also copied and pasted uh, the actual Vantage source uh, vantage source code for relating to the calculation and resulting vantage calculations into an email and sent it to his colleagues. It is worth noting that this latest or this latest latest ruling against TCS is another setback to the IT major after the U.S. Supreme Court confirmed a punitive damages award of hundred forty million in the Epic Systems case for uh, for accessing its uh, web portal without authorization. Okay, so on the basis of this, uh, we find out that the text uh, tries to give the idea that uh, how uh, the DXC lawsuit, the DXC, DXC lawsuit against what lawsuit against against the TCS, TCS, uh, the class between corporate culture and uh, you can talk about ethical conduct, uh, which is evident in TCS employees copying and sharing Vantage source code and proprietary information, isn't it? That's what it is uh, given. This breach, is, uh, this breach of ethical boundaries are seen in the exchange to e emails, highlights a conflict between respecting intellectual property and the pursuit of business objective, uh, objectives. So these are, the, these are the things which we draw uh, from this particular text. Now, let's see that what does the question uh, it asks. So, if I look at the question, so the question given here, 
the question stated in the complex legal so in the complex legal backdrop in the complex legal backdrop of the dhc lawsuit against the tcs the actions of tcs employees indicate a poignant clash between values that underpin corporate culture and ethical conduct which of the following is a reflection of this inherent conflict now on the basis of that the question focuses on what um, the question focuses on uh, you can say that uh, identifying identifying um, a specific instance identifying a specific instance instance that that uh, mirrors mirrors this inherent that mirrors this inherent uh, conflict in values conflict in values conflicting in values within the context of the lawsuit isn't it within the context of the uh, lawsuit okay so let's look at the, each of the option and we need to find out which of the option will be uh, apt to get the questions answer isn't it so uh, let's see that Uh, the option, uh, the answer option here point out the balance between. So what does it say? The balance between uh, the imperative of transparency, essential for fostering trust and legitimacy, and the perceived necessity for secrecy to safeguard proprietary information and maintain a competitive edge. So, uh, poses a challenge to teachers, employees. So, so, this is the first one, which is appointed here. In the complex legal backdrop of the DHC lawsuit against TCS, um, what do we find out? Now, in the complex legal backdrop of DHC lawsuit against teachers, the action of teachers employees indicate what? A poignant class between values that underpin corporate culture and ethical conduct. Which of the following is a reflection of this inherent conflict? Now, if I look into, on the basis of the question, if I look at the option A, so what does option A stated? Now, does the option A stated about the balance between transparency versus secrecy? So, if I see that the balance between the imperative of transparency, essential for fostering trust and legitimacy, and the perceived necessity for secrecy to safeguard proprietary information and maintain a competitive edge, poses a challenge to teachers employer. So option A stated uh, not about the transparency versus secrecy. This oversimplifies the situation and doesn't capture the nuanced conflict present in the scenario. Right? Because if I look into the men's question on the basis of the question, means uh, uh, the given scenario is what? TCS employees face a conflict between uh, fostering innovation, right? A key element of TCS success and the necessity for compliance with ethical standards and regulatory requirements. So innovation drives the industry, but it needs to be within the bounds of ethical consideration and legal compliance. So, uh, but option A stated what? Now, option A stated or oversimplifies the situation and doesn't capture the nuanced conflict present in the scenario. So it is simply stated, balance between the importance of transparency, essential for nurturing trust and uh, legitimacy and the perceived necessity for secrecy to safeguard proprietary information and maintain a competitive age 
was just a challenge to teach his employees. If I look into the option B, option B said, uh, teaches employees grapple with the delicate equilibrium between the demand for efficiency in meeting project goals and deadlines and the unyielding commitment to integrity, which emphasizes honesty and adherence to ethical principles in all professional undertakings. Now, while efficiency is important, right, the primary conflict lies in a what? Innovation and compliance. Innovation, innovation and compliance, right? Compliance, not efficiency and integrity. Not efficiency and integrity, right? So we need what? Innovation and compliance, not uh, integrity and efficiency. This one is indicating about transparency and uh, you could say that secrecy, but not about innovation and compliance. Now look into the option C. So the dichotomy unfolds. The dichotomy means two different unfold in the workplace dynamics, oscillating between the merits of collaboration, fostering teamwork and synergy and the unavoidable undertones of competitions. As individuals strive to showcase their skills and contributions within the corporate framework. Now, option C is indicating about what? Uh, collaboration, the dichotomy unfolds in the workplace dynamic oscillating what uh, between the merits of collaborating and and uh, fostering teamwork and synergy and the unavoidable undertones of competition so collaboration fostering teamwork and synergy and the unavoidable undertones of competition right the central conflict revolves more around the compliance more around what compliance and uh, you could say that Competition, uh, sorry, uh, compliance, and uh, you could say that innovation, right? Innovation, compliance, and innovation. So, which is not found in this, um, rather than collaboration and competition. So, look into the option D. So, option D pointed what the narrative. Uh, designs or weaves through the intricate interplay of fostering innovation, a hallmark of teacher's success, and the stringent strong call for compliance with ethical standards and regulatory requirements, testing the metal of the employees' dedica employees' dedication to both principles. Now, if I look into this, this option makes sense here. Why? Now, because uh, the given scenario is indicating about what TCS employees face a conflict between uh, nurturing innovation, fostering uh, innovation, a key element of TCS success, and the necessity for compliance with ethical standards and regulatory requirements. Innovation drives the industry, but it needs to be within the, uh, you can say that the bounds of ethical consideration and legal compliance. This option acknowledges uh, the delicate balance delicate balance required delicate balanced uh, balance required between pushing boundaries for innovation and making sure adherence to ethical and legal norms right whereas option e pointed to what the employees find themselves at the crossroad where loyalty to the organization a bedrock bedrock of corporate allegiance contains with the important of accountability compelling individuals to answer for their action and decisions within the organization's ethical framework. Now, if I look into the option E, which is stated about what? It is stated about loyalty to the organization. And second one, it is indicating that uh, important of, importance of what? Accountability. So compelling individuals to answer for their action and decisions within the organization's ethical framework. Now, if you look into that, uh, it is not the central theme even in this uh, scenario. The conflict is more nuanced and specific to innovation and compliance. Hence, we consider option A, B, C, right? A, B, C, and E are eliminated on the basis of what? 
uh, is indicated about transparency and uh, you could say that uh, secrecy. Second one is indicating about um, efficiency and uh, integrity. Then the third one is called as a collaboration and competition. And the fourth one is innovation and compliance. And the fifth one is indicating about uh, loyalty and accountability. Whereas the as for the context, it needs innovation and uh, compliance rather than all the other things. So hence we consider option D would be the correct answer to this particular question. Hope you understood. That's all. Thank you.